First of all, look at my hair. It is now shining. Shining for a good cause. Hello, 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 my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. So your girl, <laughs> your girl has her natural kinks and tresses back. And because of that, I wanted us to have a little natural hair discussion today. So today we're going to be debunking three common natural hair myths that I see all the time. I would definitely love for you guys down below. Let me know of any other hair myths that maybe I missed today. But I just wanted to talk about these three that are pretty common. So personally, I've been natural since 2011. I made my first natural hair video in 2011, which is crazy. So I've been natural for well over almost 10 years. And while I've been natural for a long time, I always think it's you know good to just revisit certain things. And also I recognize that some of you are just now starting your natural hair journey. So I figured this would probably be a great time to just revisit some of those old natural hair topics but kind of just make them fresh and new and just you know make it exciting i don't know <laughs> so today's video is sponsored by pantene gold series wow come on see sponsor so shout out to pantene for sponsoring today's video i'm going to be sharing some products from the gold series collection you guys have seen me talk about this collection a few times and it's because it's actually really good it's actually quite nice I actually really like it. Like, I actually really enjoy it. All right, I don't know what I'm, I don't know what that was supposed to be, because that was not, I don't know what that was supposed to be. So I'll have links down in the description box below so you can learn more about the collection and find out where you can buy them at your local retail store. So before we get into this video, I'm just gonna need you, okay, to do one, just one, just once and once and only for me and that is to make sure you are subscribed okay it's a very free something very free okay so just hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell right next to it so you always get notified when I post a new video and yeah let's jump right in myth number one trimming your hair will equal faster hair growth okay <laughs> I have heard this and I think all of us have heard this tale so many times that trimming your hair will make your hair grow faster and this is not true okay so trimming doesn't make your hair grow faster but it does okay what it does do is it makes your hair break less how how exactly professor cheesy how exactly does that happen let me tell you Basically, when you have split ends, right? If you leave split ends to just be yeah, and just be growing on your head, right? It's going to ride up the, your hair shaft and it's going to continue to split. So trimming allows you to cut those split ends off so that you have a full hair shaft and it's not broken in any way. Ultimately, this is gonna allow you to retain more length. So it makes it appear like your hair is growing faster, but it's not. You're just holding on to more length because you don't have any split ends, which would ultimately cause breakage and make your hair grow less or seem shorter so I normally go to the salon every three months to get my hair trimmed and if you guys don't know about my salon series that I started back in 2017 you guys should watch that I have a ton of videos where I would go to different salons mainly just within a tri-state area um, and I would try out different natural hair salons so you guys should definitely check that out up here somewhere you can trim your hair however much you want every three months works for me and the thing about it is if you're getting trims frequently you're not going to be cutting off that much so when I get my quarterly trim I only cut off about a quarter of an inch which is not that much and if you guys have been keeping up with my hair journey then you know that my hair is growing quite nicely I only have like two look like two inches left of heat damaged hair so your girl is almost back back so since COVID started you guys know hair salons have been shut down so I haven't been able to get my quarterly trim and oh my gosh I was due for a trim in May so now my hair is a lot more tangled and it's just harder to deal with because of these you know ends that need to go so what you can do if you are not able to get your trim or your frequent trims um, you can use the Pantene Gold series split end treatment so this treatment is great for sealing any split ends and preventing any further um, splitting of the hair which can lead to breakage 
So it comes in a pack of four. I actually only needed one because this treatment is specifically for the ends of your hair. So you don't have to put this all throughout your hair. Just focus it on the ends and you just leave it on for about five to seven minutes and then you rinse out. You do this after you've washed and conditioned your hair already. So this treatment does help a lot. It's definitely been keeping me sane during this quarantine period because I cannot deal with like I can always tell when my hair needs a trim now like I just I can't deal with hair that needs a trim it's just ugh. so yeah get your trims but if not use the Pantene Gold Series split end treatment and it's got you covered till you get your next trim myth number two glossy or shiny hair automatically means that your hair is moisturized um <laughs> So this myth is for the girls out there that love to douse their hair in oil and think something is happening, okay? Let me tell you something, that oil is sitting on top of your hair shaft, okay? It's sitting right there, it's not going anywhere, it's not penetrated and it's it. And that's because oil works as a sealant, okay? It seals in moisture. The moisture you're gonna get is from water. What did I say? water say it with me water okay water water is your ultimate moisturizer oil is going to seal in that moisture so for moisture and hydration you want to make sure you're using products that are formulated to penetrate your strands so usually that type of product their first ingredient will be water because water is the ultimate moisturizer okay Cool. Also, side note, you also want to make sure that you are working on, as much as possible, of course, clean hair, okay? You want to make sure you wash and condition your hair. That is going to remove any excess oil and product buildup, which is going to now allow those moisturizing products and agents to actually penetrate your strands, which is going to provide what? Moisture. So here's an example. So after I wash and condition my hair, I use the Pantene Gold Series Hydrating Buttercream and the Intense Hydrating Oil. If you haven't tried this combo yet, I'm gonna need you, I'm gonna need you to do that because it is bomb. First of all, look at my hair. I don't know if y'all can see. So you see how there's like actual shine? This is the only shine that's allowed because it was moisturized prior and now you've got the oil on top and that. <laughs> It is now shining, shining for a good cause. So I really do love this product combo. The hydrating buttercream is exactly that, it's hydrating. It gives like a really lightweight but just magical um, moisture. And now that my natural texture is growing back in, it's still providing that same amount of moisture even when my hair was heat damaged as well. Because I used this line when I first got heat damage. Um, and even with my natural texture growing back, it's still working just the same. If that's something you guys are worried about, it, it checks out. It works on, our, it, yes, it's good. It's good. It's very good. The Intense Hydrating Oil is, I mean, the thing about these products are that they really are formulated for our texture, like actually. Um, I don't know if some of you guys were here, but I went out to the labs back um, in the beginning of 2019 and I met some of the scientists behind it all black women they definitely not all black women but some <laughs> and they also tested these products on real african-american hair like real like our hair they tested it on our hair so it works it really does work my hair feels like so, so soft like I don't know if y'all can see the feeling like it's, I, it's kind of hard to like explain but like it just it feels amazing, like amazing. Myth number three. So a common myth that I hear a lot is the best way to refresh your curls is to saturate your hair with water. So I know there may be some confusion with this one because didn't I just not say that water is the ultimate moisturizer? So if you ever wanted to refresh your hair or re-moisturize, wouldn't you have to now put water back in it? Is that not what you just said, Jesse? Wait. Hold on, let me laugh. Yes, water is absolutely the ultimate moisturizer. You are absolutely correct. But water alone, just water from your sink, water from the air, from the sky, <laughs> water alone can be damaging to your hair because 
water just from the sources that we normally get it from can be filled with a lot of minerals depending on where you are so y'all ever heard of hard water i feel like that was talked about a lot within the natural hair community like back in 2014 or something but it's a thing it's basically when water is just there's a lot of minerals and stuff um, within the water it can come from the sink the pipes all these things and it can be really damaging to your hair so when i was in college actually there was a lot of hard water up there and i noticed it immediately with my hair like it's just mm, yeah so what are we supposed to do if water is ultimately damaging our hair like what's happening right so you want to make sure that you're using products in your regimen that can provide nourishment slip define your curls while also counteracting any oxidative damage with antioxidants within the products so you want to know what line has that <laughs> you guessed it the gold series collection yes it's true yes mm -hmm. also you definitely do not have to saturate and i mean douse your hair in water to refresh your hair like that's definitely not true all you really need is just a little spritzy spritz spritz so it can just land that's it it doesn't disrupt too much an example of this anytime that i have my hair whether it's out or in twists like these to refresh my hair i'll go in with the gold series curl awakening spray the point of refreshing your curls is to reactivate the product that's already in your hair so there's already the hydrating buttercream there's already that oil there's already these products that are providing that moisture one of the best ways to reactivate the product is to use uh, the curl refreshing spray. So the thing about this product is there's already water is the first ingredient So there's already water right except this is a bit better than just water alone because it's formulated with Ingredients that are also going to nourish your hair. It's gonna provide some slip and it's gonna refresh those curls for you Okay, so check it out. It's what I do to refresh my hair just spray all around so my hair isn't soaking but it's now refreshed even if my hair is out let's say i have it in a twist out or a braid out and i've slept on it one of the best ways to refresh my hair i just go in with this spray all around and then i kind of just fluff it provides more movement for my hair so it's able to last a few days longer all right guys well that is it's those are the three myths that i figured we can debunk today let me know if there's any other myths that you guys hear about a lot and that you'd like me to speak on definitely comment down below shout out to Pantene gold series for sponsoring today's video again definitely check the description box below to learn more about the collection and to find out where you can buy yours at your local retail store and if y'all like these types of videos you know where i'm also providing some value of some sorts <laughs> give me a thumbs up so i know to make more of these types of videos and yeah i will catch you guys in my next one and y'all have a great rest of your day Mwah. bye y'all